Every picture tells a different story. John Anderson enjoys telling visitors about Smith County's past at the Historical Society Museum near downtown Tyler. In this room are 13 mural panels that are a historic treasure in the art world. The murals were part of the Public Works of Art project that employed thousands of artists to create 15,000 works of art around the United States during the Great Depression. They depict the economy and the lifestyle of uh, Smith County. They were painted in 1934 by Duhith Wilson, a Texan. In 1934, these murals were hung here, which was the adult reading room for the Tyler Public Library. Today, they're still in the same location, only it's the Smith County Historical Society. The murals were painted on pasteboard with pastels. They were also custom fit to go around the room. Less than a hundred of the works of art from those artists that are in the same place as where they were painted. The rare paintings tell the story of Smith County, of what life was like in the 1930s. We have one mural that depicts the train station, uh, another mural that depicts some of the early oil, uh, another mural that depicts the building of the People's Bank building. The majority of the settlers in Smith County came from Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, yeah. in some cases Alabama, Oklahoma, uh, and they found the rolling plains of uh, timberland of East Texas to be very hospitable. Many of the scenes show important agriculture crops that were grown in the area, including roses, cotton, and pecans. But these kind of set a precedent for what kind of art would be put in public places. The murals are in excellent condition and John hopes they'll be on display for others to see for many years to come. Tyler's a wonderful place for history, and this is just a great example of what it takes to uh, preserve history. For CBS 19, I'm J.B. Smith, and that's my story. <laughs>